there were three grades. Uh, we did not have seniors the first year. Um, and I think we were around 2,000 kids. You know, you could the kids that went here at the very, very beginning were really excited. We had no seniors that first year, so the juniors, they were cock of the walk here for two years. They were like the top, there's no, no one to mess with. So they kind of got used to that real quick. And uh, I think it's one of the reasons we did so well in athletics second year, because we had all these returning kids. And it made a real difference. Um, the kids were cognizant, staff was cognizant of how, what a big deal it was to start a high school. I mean, you could just feel it. Every time we had a pep rally, it was a big deal. Every time we did anything, because what we were doing, people figured out, I don't remember going on telling people this, they just kind of figured it out that they were setting a precedent for what was gonna happen at school for the next 30 years. Uh, my first impression was it was pink. Uh, RBV was originally painted pink. I mean, I mean pink. And it was a kind of a issue for the kids, you know. Got called Pepto Palace or got called uh, all kinds of things. So we had to think about what we did here. We didn't want anything that was going to look less than really cool. And we put a lot of energy into it. We had a committee of kids and we voted what colors to go with and um, ultimately decided on brown, silver and white. But there was no Longhorns anywhere in California. You know, I thought it's a great logo. It's one of a kind. I mean, nobody else has got that. And, and the kids love it. I don't, they, from day one, they, they thought that was going to be really cool. In many ways, it's the same campus. It looks very, very similar. I, and the one thing I didn't notice is, is there obviously is an ongoing battle with, with kids that ride skateboards here. Skateboard racks out front, that's a new one. Skateboards in the office, <laughs> huddled there. I had an ongoing battle with skateboarders and I just kind of learned to live with it. And um, when I started reading surfboard magazines and they talked about that this was their favorite place to come on the weekend, we had it all secured and locked, made no difference. They got in and they went up and skateboarded off the roofs of our buildings. I could show you where they used to do it because I saw the pictures in these magazines. Well, at the beginning, it was knowing that everything we did and how we did it was setting the tone for what was going to fall. Kids are really, students just kind of like tradition. They like routines, they like to do things they've always done. They, they learn as freshmen from seniors and sophomores and juniors. I mean, this is kind of how it gets passed up. And so if you do something really wrong at the beginning, it takes years to break it down. And fortunately, I don't think we had any of that. Everything we did was pretty good. I mean, we ended up having an incredible uh, performing arts program. I mean, the best. And it was amazing. And that performing arts center, you know, that we build it that way without fixed seats. And that's the advantage of that is you can set it up any way you want to. It's a kind of a pain to do that, tear it up and uh, put things away. but it really allowed for a maximum use of it. Uh, so obviously a lot of good stuff was done and planned by the architectures and, and all the people that put this place together. Um, the shading out of the, out there looks, looks terrific because there never was enough shade in the school. Uh, the fa facilities I was driving by this morning looking and I think the fields look great. It's nice to see a stadium finally. Yeah, when I was here, we obviously had no stadium and no lights, no nothing. Now, I was, I kind of helped put the lights in, but that's all we got done. The stadium, I think it took a bond election to get that, so really looks very similar. The high schools are the, the most expensive uh, plant we have, you know, if you compare them to the other levels, middle and elementary. And so it's pretty difficult to make changes here. Now, I know some science labs have been added, some things like that, but physical structure, I would guess this thing, 
that the finally the visitor side of the stadium got f totally completed because when I left, uh, prior when I arrived we didn't have a stadium, and then prior when I left we had the stadium with the exception of the visitor side being completed. So I think that's been done now. So we were 3,500 kids uh, almost the whole time I was here. That was a challenge because it was a huge place, you know. They, and we still only had one lunch period, so. But I was the guy that implemented the junior, senior, off-campus lunch privilege because we had to, some, we had to alleviate some of the, you know, the crowding that existed uh, at lunch. You know, it's, it's a pretty small space. Since I started uh, working here uh, when the school was three years old, uh, it was then a very small and very intimate campus. Uh, we didn't have a large um, staff body and the student body was not that large yet. We added up a lot of students every year and a lot of teachers every year. But the first few years were literally intimate years here. Everyone knew everyone, the staff knew everyone, the students knew each other. There was a real sense of community here. Everyone attended football games, other games. Uh, you could see people uh, around you continuously. It was very special to be a Longhorn. Was the third principal at Rancho Buena Vista High School. So I actually started working here uh, when the school was three years old as a teacher. I was hired as an English teacher. I was working in the English department. And then in the year 2000, I became an assistant principal and a few years later became the principal of the school. I retired in 2012. We established at the school uh, the uh, tradition of Rancho View, and it was quite a challenge to establish it at the school. We had had it early on, and then it sort of disappeared, died, and then we brought it back. And since I was the chair of the English department at the time, I lassoed uh, the entire English department to participate as staff in the first event during which we brought back Rancho View to the school. And it was an unbelievably funny and exciting uh, and, uh, and uh, just joyful experience to have the English teachers with us performing for the students. At the time, it was the only department, I have to say, that dared get on the stage and perform. Years later, the math department came in, the social studies department came in, and so forth. But that one year, uh, we had only one show. Uh, we had students hanging from the rafters. There were so many students there. Uh, Randy Gallen, who was then the, um, the supervisor for the facility here, was so upset with me because we had too many students on that, uh, attending that event, and it was just a lot of fun. There's always a rivalry piece. Um, I, I always said this when I was here. There's nothing wrong with a rivalry. It's a, it's a valuable thing. We keep it in perspective, and then when it's over, I mean, we're all we're all from Vista. The moment Rancho Buena Vista was created, uh, that rivalry was created. I loved the, the games. It was. It never got easy playing all of our home games at Vista High School. The black, uh, which I'm wearing now, the black and the red versus the maroon and the gray was always a big deal in the in the city. I think it's a lot more friendly rivalry now. I, you know. I heard stories about what it was before I got here. I think it gives flavor to the high school experience. It makes uh, high school life more comical, let's put it this way. <laughs> but now I see it as a more friendly rivalry, as it should be. We're all in the city of Vista. You know, we, we want to see Vista beat Poway. We want to see, you know, beat the other schools because they're part of us. Quite a bit has changed since I got here. Um, some of the things that have changed, that at least I started when I got here, the campus was quite open when I got here. And for safety and security reasons, which is a priority for me, um, I started closing all the gates and putting the student parking lot off limits. And then eventually was able to have the district put in a fence for the upper parking lot. So it helps us control um, people who come and go from our campus, which is a real safety feature um, for me. Some of the others is working with the district to get the restrooms rebuilt for the students, um, uh, which I think we have almost all of them now have been rebuilt and done. So those are some big changes since I got here. I think Rancho has from the inception uh, had a, a, a very good reputation uh, as far as the teaching staff was always highly regarded by its students and the community. We increased from three sections to 13 sections, the number of avid 
uh, classes that were available to students, trying to encourage uh, youngsters to go to college. Trying to really enhance the academic program and make that uh, as valuable to every student as we possibly could. The school has an incredibly creative faculty, always has been, uh, always have had that element in the school, that quality of uh, a creative staff. You have a rich community with multiple programs that are truly exceptional. Uh, the theater program here now, the, uh, the broadcasting program, uh, the IB program, the athletic programs, uh, the arts programs, uh, uh, now the technology programs. The school as it grew uh, brought in a lot of interest for the students and that's very special. Adding new programs, the robotics program, I always wanted to have one and we started that. We made a big push for the arts. So yes, we have the murals um, that we put in. Um, but we've tried to add more to our music and arts program here because I'm a big believer in the arts and students having uh, the ability to take the arts um, there. So I think in course offerings, and we're going to continue to add course offerings for students so they have some choices to take here. The uh, Rancho um, better preparing students for the 21st century with um, technology programs, course offerings, opportunities by bringing colleges on campus to offer college courses to our students here um, down the road so kids can actually walk out with college credit at the same time they're getting their high school diploma. Um, so I see some really good opportunities for students down the road. As I understand it, it's going to be called, uh, they're going to look at it, at, at it sort of a world school approach, uh, having more, much more of an international flavor. I know international baccalaureate's already here and in place and, and it adds to that. So I, I'm, I'm anxious to see how that evolves, particularly as a school board member now, to kind of see how the staff here takes that and, and expands opportunities for uh, you know, youngsters on campus. Of all the things I did in my career, being the, opening this high school and being the principal, it was, was, it was truly the best thing I ever did. And I, I loved the kids, I loved the, the staff, they were just really great people. One of three schools in San Diego County in 2004 that received a California Distinguished School Award. Had a very nice award ceremony down at Disneyland and we were able to take some staff there. So it was a pretty, uh, pretty nice accomplishment. So I would tell you that was one. And uh, being around um, teenagers is always a lot of fun. And as a principal, I rarely had to deal with any kind of discipline issues. So I could really enjoy the students in their, in their best face. Uh, I would go to classrooms, sit down and watch teachers teach, observe the lesson. Um, I always got sucked into the lesson itself because I love learning myself, so I became a student in the, in the class. Uh, that was a lot of fun, just being surrounded by students. And the other part about it is, I have to say, being surrounded by teachers. I think teachers are exceptional. Helping students is my favorite part. I like being out with students, whether it's out at lunch or nutrition or visiting classrooms, helping students who come to see me. Um, I think that's my favorite part of this job is helping the kids. That's why I keep doing it after all these years.
week And she told me I could I asked to see her and she told me I could The mighty longhorns with integrity, the extraordinary, the best are we. Longhorns, the halls of excellence, stand proud and free. Through unity, the Longhorns are we.